Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? How about now? Can you hear me now? You may recognize that line from a series of popular commercials from back in the early 2000s for Verizon. And it's actually very fitting because I'm not using my normal, good old, reliable Deity V-Mic D3. I'm actually coming to you from a completely different mic system that I feel like has found a permanent spot in my camera bag. And the mic system that has replaced the Deity with a permanent spot in my camera bag is the Seven Rhymes iRay DW20 set. And honestly, I've probably spent way too much time over the last six months to almost a year looking at wireless mic systems. I looked at the DJI wireless microphone system, I looked at the Rode wireless Go 2s, and I looked at everything uh, below those as far as price goes. Those two are really on the high end of price and features, but I wanted something more in my budget range. And so I was looking at things under $100, but then I started to think, you really sometimes get what you paid for. And I didn't wanna be back to square one in one to two months looking for something that gave me better audio quality, gave me better features. And that's when I found the Seven Rhymes mic system on Amazon. Now, before we get into any of the features and the specifics of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and come clean and tell you that I am no audio expert. I have proven it time and time again that I am really bad at audio. So a lot of this is going to go way over my head, but I need to list it out for you anyways. And the first thing is that this is a 2.4 gigahertz dual channel wireless microphone. And the two parts of that that I do understand are dual and wireless. And that means that I'm actually able to have two transmitters going into the same receiver and it's wireless. That's about the extent to what I understand with this system going in, to be honest. But what I can tell you is that the three main pieces that come in this kit are all very small and very compact. They measure about 1.77 inches by 1.77 inches by 0.86 of an inch. They have 48 kilohertz 24-bit audio recording. What I do know about the system is that you can adjust the level of each transmitter by about 12 levels, and Seven Rhymes claims that the transmitter will give you crystal clear audio up to about 328 feet or 100 meters. Two other quick features to note about this system are the LCD screen on both transmitters as well as the receiver, as well as Seven Rhymes claims that these units can give you up to six hours of battery life, which I gotta say, I'm pretty sure that's pretty accurate because I've been doing a lot of testing and I've yet to charge these outside of the initial charge. And an interesting thing about the USB-C port on the receiver is that that allows you to take audio from the receiver and give it to your cell phone if you use USB-C like my Galaxy S9 does. And while I know we've already kind of gone over the main things that come in this kit, I still want to do a little bit of unboxing for you just so you know exactly what comes for about $165 to $180, depending on tax, depending on shipping. The first thing you're greeted with is this really nice travel case. And inside the travel case, you will see two transmitters, one receiver, two 3.5 millimeter TRS mic audio input cable lapel mics, two wind muffs for the transmitters, one 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRS audio cable, one 3.5 millimeter TRS to TRRS audio cable, one three-in-one charging cable, which has three USB-C ends and one USB-A end, and that allows you to charge the receiver and both transmitters at the same time. And I really like it when companies supply something like that to where you're not having to buy this USB-C cable, this USB-C cable, that USB-C cable, and have them plugged into different wall outlets. And it's all well and good to sit here and take the box and read to you all the different features that are included in this kit, but how does it sound when you compare it to a comparable system? And luckily, I was able to find a set of Rode Wireless Go 2 mics at work. And they're so new that they still have the plastic left on them on the screen. And so you roughly know what to expect out of the Rode Wireless Go 2s, but you don't necessarily know what you're going to get out of the Seven Rhymes. And so I put these two 
in a head-to-head -head battle over a series of tests and also did a couple tests just on the seven rhyme system to kind of see how it played and these are the results you can hook up the receiver to your phone or your laptop via USB-C. So I've got a C to C because it does have a C plug on the receiver. And so this should be coming through. I'm gonna walk out of the room, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, into the kitchen. So now this is me talking to the phone from the living room using the transmitter to the receiver. The receiver is, like I said, C to C from the receiver to the phone. So I'm gonna come back in, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna see how this sounded. So this is an audio test of the Seven Rhymes system. I have the mic already attached to me and I have the receiver on top. So this is the Seven Rhymes system. And so I'm going to walk through the kitchen <clears throat> walk through the kitchen, through the utility room, out into the garage, into the garage. Here are the water pails. And back into utility. Close that door because it is entirely too cold for this today. <clears throat> All right, now we'll fill this up. There's a wall in between myself and the camera, the receiver out into the foyer and outside. All right. Now I'm outside, I'm on our front walk. Uh, there are multiple walls, a lot of things in between. So just watering some of the plants. There we go. All right, back inside. And what we'll do is we will switch off once I set this down, back out into the garage. All right. Set this back out here in the garage. And here we go, back through the kitchen and back to you. So, <clears throat> so again, that was using the seven rhyme system. Now this is a test with the Rode Wireless Go 2. I'm going to do the exact same path to see how this compares to the seven rhyme system. So <clears throat> here we go, walking back through the kitchen and into our utility room. Oh, I left the garage door open, that wasn't good. There goes all that heat out into the garage, grabbing the two water jugs. Those are the water jugs. Now back through the garage into the utility room. Again, I've got to close this. It is too cold out there today. All right, here to the sink, back in the kitchen. Going to fill this water jug up with water. And now again, same path through the dining room. Still a wall in between, roughly the same distance. Out through the foyer and outside. And now we will water, 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 water some plants. Mums, mums, mums. All right, and I probably have one more watering to do, but for this test, that is good enough. Back through the dining room, into the kitchen. Again, this is the Rode Wireless Go 2 set, a set that I have through work. Uh, so that's how I'm able to do this comparison, thankfully. It was really cool to find this in the office the other day. My coworker Kevin and I are both pretty excited about it, not gonna lie. Back through the kitchen, and now into the living room, back to y'all. Uh, this will test the seven Rhine system. I have the transmitter. I will put the lapel mic on in a minute for that test, but this is the seven rhymes transmitter to receiver plugged into my R, and this is just a distance test. Going to talk one, two, three, four, over 30 yards now, one, two, three, four, and now we're into the far end zone. And so I am at the far end zone. This is the farthest point away from the other camera, uh, from the receiver. This is testing the seven rhymes system. One, two, three, four. And again, there's nothing in the way here. And I'm just gonna retrace my steps. I'm gonna come up here to, from the end line to the end zone. And now out of the end zone and coming back. Testing one, two, testing one, two. This is with the lav mic added in. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2. So again, I'm gonna walk backwards and try and keep as little in between myself and the receiver as possible. So testing one, two, testing one, two, and this is out at Blanchard Park. Not to be confused with Blanchard Woods Park, which is where I meant to go, but I had a brain fart and went to the wrong spot, but still nice big wide open spot that allows me to kind of do a bit of a t distance test. It's a beautiful fall day here in Augusta, Georgia. At this point, I am now entering the far end zone 
and back all the way to the other end line, testing one, two, one, two, just looking out over the fields, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And what I will do now is I will plug in the provided lav mic into this, so excuse that for a second. And now again, this is now the lav mic on the Rode Wireless Go 2. I'm going to start talking, or continue talking, and start walking back towards the receiver. So testing one, two, three, one, two, three, coming up on the halfway point of this little peewee football field. So what did you think? I personally really couldn't tell a whole lot of difference. Like I said, I'm blessed with really big ears, but that doesn't mean that I can hear jack diddly squat. So for me, they sound really, really similar. But let's go over some of the pros and a couple cons with the Seven Rhymes iRay DW20 system. And the first thing is that with the basic package for this system, you can use it with a variety of things. You can use it with your computer, you can use it with a camera, you can also use it with your phone. So I really like that versatility to where you can get great audio no matter the device. And along with that great audio, I feel like you get a lot of great distance out of this system. My favorite test was where I put the camera roughly in the middle of my house in the living room, and I was able to still get really good crystal clear audio even as I went out into the garage to get the water pails, filled up the water, went outside, and I had multiple walls, multiple materials, whether that was wood, wires, mortar, brick, all sorts of things in the way that I felt like should have caused some interference, but it still sounded crystal clear, still sounded really, really good. So I was absolutely blown away by that test right off the bat for this system. But the biggest pro for me is the price. And for roughly $170 to $180, again, depending on taxes, depending on the shipping method that you choose, depending on if you're a Prime member or not, you get a lot for the value. You get two transmitters, one receiver, you get all kinds of cords, you get two lapel mics, you get the the, uh, the carrying case. I know with the Rode system, it looks like we only got one lapel mic. And for me with this system, there are really only two cons. The first one has to deal with the receiver and its orientation on top of my camera. So as you can see, the TRS to TRS and the TRS to TRRS cords have only one bent end and one straight end. And then when you pair that with the fact that the receiver's output is pointed towards the back of the camera, it just, it makes it to where you could honestly have a couple of issues. And I would much rather that they take the receiver and just turn it 90 degrees, especially if that was to the uh, to where the cable would come out on the same side as where your cable goes into the camera, and also give us one more bent uh, end on those cables. Just it would make it so much more neat and compact. And the only other con that I can find with this system so far is that there's no internal recording like there is on the Wireless Go 2 and I think on the DJI. But that is solved with the DW30. Seven Rhymes actually has a step up version of this, the DW30 that comes with this really nice wireless charging case. And that does have internal audio recording which allows you to not have to worry about if your audio suddenly cut out or maybe didn't record, but your video did. There's a few things that can go wrong with that. So it's just nice to have that built in safety net. That's not necessarily on the DW20, but it's not a deal breaker for me. So there you have it. That is my side-by-side -side comparison between the Seven Rhymes iRay DW20 and the Rode Wireless Go 2 system. So how about you? Were you able to tell the difference between the Seven Rhymes iRay DW20 setup and the Rode Wireless Go 2 setup? Or were you like me and it was kind of a toss up, you really couldn't tell the difference. So you're sitting there going, that's actually really good audio, especially considering the price difference. Or is there another system altogether that you swear by? Are you a DJI fan? Is there something else that I maybe overlooked on Amazon? I would love to hear from you. So go ahead and drop those down in the comments below. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you in another video.